Welcome to the Balls Not Court podcast. Cortez Paul is here. We got Kevin Carter as my right as well, as usual. As hey, the hey, same. Hey, hey. <laughs> On the line with me, I got Steve Van Order. Hey, Steve. How you doing? How you doing? All right, and I also got Catfish Hughes with me. This guy joined us. He knows a lot about sports, and he decided to come on. I actually did an interview with this gentleman, and and um, he wanted to be on the show. I'm good friends with Mr. Catfish, yeah. so we'll start with our new guest first and see how he's doing. How, how you doing up up there in uh in the tundra? And, and I know you got a storm coming your way. How you doing up there, Catfish? I'm doing excellent. Got a got a storm coming. Got a got the five Western All Stars pick for the. Starters are going to be Kobe Bryant, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Westbrook, and Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So that's what's up. All right. Uh, Steve, how you doing today, sir? I'm doing all right, buddy. Just feeding the baby and burping him. <laughs> that could be taken so many different ways. <laughs> Yes, I know. <laughs> but as he mentioned, it is a real baby, people. <laughs> literally, is. it is a baby, not a baby. There, so, baby. all right, Mr. Carter, how you doing today, sir? Yeah. <laughs> you, you're here, right? I'm, yeah. Yeah. My house. I better be here. Uh, I hope so, man. All right, and, hey, you no know, same old thing over here. The weather's warming up a little bit for a day, and then it's gonna go back cold in Florida. I'm here. In spirit. Um, I, I know I say cold, and Catfish is laughing like, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fifty. <laughs> He's up there going, y'all can get off. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to hear it. Where's you at? <laughs> I'm in Indiana right now, and it's, it's oh, cold. Indiana, nice. Yeah, we're looking at snow. Yeah, they got a snowstorm called. The Jonas is that what it's called? Nick Jonas is blowing their way. It's a Jonas, yeah. So. Winter Storm Jonas, what a weird name for a storm. I think when I was up in Boston, they had one name, uh, uh, Ida. It was weird. It was weird. I don't want, Ida don't want to go outside because it's snowing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I was new to that because I didn't know they named Winter Storm. Tell we named Hurricane. Yeah, I mean, I know we named Hurricane, so I'm used to that, but I was like, they, they nicknamed named, Snowstorm. They named Winter Storms, but I guess because I have She called them like Frosty or <laughs> some. Cold name. Yeah, yeah. So when he when name them after everyone's ex wives. <laughs> really cold names. Yeah, when Catfish told me that the storm was named Jonas, I was like, that's kind of weird, but nonetheless, whatever. Stay warm up there, buddy. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> There's no playing basketball outside in Indiana right now. No, no, not at all. They should go to a gym, and you probably can't drive anywhere because of the state of emergency. The people know. walk the gyms up there. <laughs> true, that's true. Indiana don't give a crap. If they want to go play basketball, they go play basketball. <laughs> because you know why? Why? Because that's all they got to do. <laughs> I'm lying. See? Uh, I lying. There you go. That's all they got to do. All right, well, initially, well, no, we're going to, this is going to cover strictly football. Um, Catfish, I get you on when we discuss basketball here. So, yeah, I know you always see how this goes for you. And uh, we're going to strictly talk about the championship Sunday. Uh, four four teams are playing. All right, oh, it's just happens sometimes. You just get these. Dude, I was going like off that. on Rob Bates though. <laughs> I don't know what y'all. But there are four teams remaining in quest for a Super Bowl title, and we're gonna start off with the. It's not the first game, but we're gonna discuss it first because I know we have a few. Uh, um, one one of the, one of the guys like the teams that's gonna be the game that's gonna be at the game. Yeah, but here I'll say it. Go We're ahead. gonna talk about the NFC game first, so Cortez can go on and on and on and on and on about the Broncos later on in the show. There. <laughs> <laughs> well, did I cover it enough? You, yeah. You did know. I cover it enough? Look, we're already gonna take the suspense out of last game. One of us is gonna pick the Broncos. <laughs> Right. A lot of homerism is going to go into the last pick. Oh, so right. one of us is going to pick the Broncos. <laughs> the uh, Another one of us is going to pick for the field to just blow up and suck both teams into the other depths of hell. No, that's not true because uh, no team is playing in Ohio, so it's kind of a win-win right now. I don't like neither one of those teams, so I'm going to hope that the field blows up and both teams get sucked into the eighth level of hell. This guy. So much. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk about the Arizona Cardinals uh, versus the Carolina Panthers. This will be a 640 on Fox PM on Sunday. Some of the storylines heading to this game is it's a what re- weird game times. 305 and 640. 
Just make them normal. Huh? And, and the bad part is they're both out on the west, so that's why we get these weird, crazy. Well, you got the Carolina time. here that's going to be over here on the east. Coast. Oh yeah, this one's on well, east. This is the but one yet. Three o five. That's the one that throws it off. Let's randomly right. put it at three o five instead of just putting the Panthers game at one o'clock and the other game at four o'clock, like they always do. Oh, God almighty. Well, NFL. you got the mountain time stuff. So probably throwing they it still, off anymore. Every it. damn Broncos game we get at 4 o'clock. Yeah. Because it's 2 o'clock over there. So you might as well just play it at 4 o'clock again. <laughs> Believe oh, me, when I went to the game, it, it threw me off the time difference was going there. I'm like, 12 You were thrown off from another reason why you went to the game. We don't even want to hear that. <laughs> I'm not going to when you that. went to the Broncos. When you went to Denver. Oh, Lord. Yeah. What's your air quotes? Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> Rocky Mountain High. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, on to the storyline. I we was going to go to the Bronco game, but I got high. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, storyline's heading to the game. We got the rematch of last year, <laughs> wild card meeting in Charlotte. Panthers won that game last year, 27-16, to and it was to an injured Cardinal squad without Carson Palmer. Uh, the combined 28 regular season wins between the two teams are the most by opposing playoff teams since 2004. Ooh. Cardinals with 13 or Panthers with 15. Even better thing. First ever time Eisman Trophy winners have met in a playoff game. Another that storyline. Booyah. Like that. Booyah. And then you, you didn't got, know that one, did you? I knew it, but I was Booyah. Asking, but thank you for adding that. This is, <laughs> this is why you're here. Cause you, Booyah. Cause you, just, you just throw the nuggets in there. I like that. Booyah. I like that. All right, Arizona road record is 7-1. and one. Carolina this, home record I heard is 8 today. <laughs> And <laughs> this is going to be, uh, okay, so the best of the best. And a lot of people think this is pretty much going to be a Super Bowl game right here anyways uh, between these two teams. These are the two best teams record-wise that's left. But um, I'm going to go ahead and start off, and and I want y'all to describe, describe Cam Newton's season, and I'm going to start with Catfish. Give me some uh, words or your thoughts on his season so far. Oh man, three letters, MVP. I think he was the best player in the league. Um, Cam Newton, he's been my guy. I predicted him beginning of the year to win the Super Bowl. I'm um, staying with that prediction. He's just, he's clutch. Uh, he's a leader. Um, you know, had a, he's had a great year. I, th- I think he's the MVP. If I had a vote, that's where it would go. Gotcha. gotcha. All right, Steve, your thoughts on uh, Cam Newton's season? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I mean, I mean, he's okay. I mean, he's not like elite, like Eli. I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, you can't spell elite without Eli. I mean, according to Howard, I mean, he's the best fucking quarterback. He's better than his brother. Oh, oh my god! Oh. oh shit! Yeah, I mean, he he might be able to carry Eli's jockstrap to the <laughs> Stop! Stop! We're trying to be serious. <laughs> No, no, no. You know, Cam Newton had a – he's having a hell of a year. Uh, he, he's your MVP. As much as I want to debate a little bit, he, he, he'll be your MVP. Will he win the Super Bowl? Probably. But I already know who I'm going to pick. Cortez, your boy Peyton ain't going to go nowhere, so. Oh, love, so. man. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, hey, Cam, is, and Cam has been great this year. I'm actually kind of shocked at how good he's been. But I'm glad to see him develop. Become the player he is. I love it. He's doing great, man. Awesome. Kevin, your thoughts on Cam Newton's season? Yeah, he did good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, heard too much, man. No, he, he, okay, if you want me to go into it, he, <laughs> he was asked to do a lot with a little. You, he was asked to play. This kind of ball he's been playing. And the reason why I think he's the MVP is because all year long he's been throwing the ball to Ted Ginn Jr. And 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 people that no one else wanted. And he's really been throwing the ball to Ted Ginn Jr. <laughs> that should tell you enough right there that they won that many games. And their number one receiver almost all year long has been Ted Ginn Jr., Anybody who's making Ted Ginn Jr. look that good deserves to be MVP. Yeah. So he, he, he's played phenomenal. They've asked him to go above and beyond. They've asked him to take a lot of hits that a normal quarterback wouldn't be able to take. And he's he's played very well. But, yeah, he, he's definitely probably going to win the MVP. 
Yeah, my I thought that his season was spectacular, and um, I, I I knew they that they um that he had a lot on his shoulders when Kelvin Benjamin went out, and he had to throw the ball to yeah, Ted Ginn Jr. Like you said, Ted Ginn Jr. <laughs> um, I know you want to talk a little bit about his Titan Olsen a little bit later, but um, yeah, so I mean, he did this like. It was impressive what he did to me as far as running his team and and almost got his team undefeated and this and they I, didn't lose either. yeah they, I mean listen they almost didn't lose yeah they almost didn't lose but I, I feel like they needed to because this can get them regard himself and get focused on where they need to go but um, you got to be proud of what he accomplished this season as far as um, um running that offense his maturity and I know he's he's uh, been taking a lot of heat with everybody with celebration and everything. No, they, and, they, they, and, they, they, and, this, this, People, he ain't doing. You want to know why they make it a big deal about his celebrations and everything like that? Tom Brady does this stupid crap where he gets up and yells in people's face and everything. He's a fiery competitor. Cam wants to dance or do something or make it enjoyable, and he's foolish, young thug. All that one. Just because he's black, don't mean he's all this stuff. Just leave it alone. The man's just doing it to have fun. He's having fun. You want to call the other people fiery competitors because they get up and yell in people's face and spike the ball and do all this stuff. He's a competitor, but he's just having fun. He's doing what you would do when you were young and played a football game. He's enjoying it and having fun. Let the guy have his fun. Every kid in that damn stadium almost got a ball during the Seattle game if it would have kept up the way it was in the first half. Every kid would have got a ball. <laughs> yeah. Because that's that's what they don't let the man have fun. Let him enjoy it. Does he take some of the antics too far? Yes. Like throwing the the thing and everything. But the con like the one lady sending in a thing calling him a thug because he was dancing and all that. What kind of role model is that being? He's having fun and enjoying the football game. Let him go. Just let him do it. Sometimes do I think he takes it over the top? Yes. Do I think it's that bad? No. I I, I, I just think he's having fun. No. The one, remember the one incident where he was uh, playing the Saints and the ref won't give him the ball? He literally ran like... He ran back to the ball boy, almost knocked the ball boy over, grabbed the ball, ball and took it to the little kid in the stand. That, I I was, uh, I was telling he's having, to do that. He's having fun and that whole team seems like they're having fun. Yeah. So it, it, I'm like, good for them. I'm glad, I'm glad he's done what he has done this season. Good for him, even though I can't. I'm not a big fan of his just because of other things that happened in the fast past, not mm-hmm. fast past. But he, he, good, good for him. They had a good season. All right. Um, where do you personally have the Panthers rank at the beginning of the season? I'll start with you, Steve. Panthers. Um, you know when they played the Jaguars, I really wasn't as impressed with them. Watching that game, I was not impressed with the Panthers. I was in the pool, so I wasn't really watching the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was I watching was other stuff. Taylor. I don't know. But, you know, I wasn't really impressed with them too much. I figured they would have been maybe a run-of-the-mill team just by the, that, the performance that day. And uh, I give it the first game. But as it's progressed, man, dude, I mean, it's just, they've exceeded every expectation. I really did not believe that, that the record would be what they are now. At least by watching them early on, just was it's, it was night and day different. As it progressed, I mean, it's – you're kind of like, okay, is this team going to lose? And, yeah, they did. But, you know, I don't think they're going to lose it out. So they far exceeded my expectations. I'm so, I'm, I'm really, <clears throat> again, happy for Cam and his development mm-hmm. because I didn't think he was going to amount to a whole lot. Completely proved me wrong. Hats off to the guy. All right. You're throwing this catfish. He had him going to the Super Bowl. I had him going to the Super Bowl. I, I think, uh, you know, they had, they had kind of a weaker schedule this year. Which, you know.